Hello everyone, my name is Roya and today I have uh, some books to show you that I acquired in the month of May. So the first few books here I'm going to show you are ones that I've already read. Uh, the first two that I'm going to show you were both sent to me by Colored Pages Book Tours, so thank you so much to Colored Pages Book Tours for sending these my way. I already uh, posted reviews on Instagram of these and all of that, but that is Road to Ruin by Hannah Lee, which is one of my favorite books of the year I think so far. Um, I really really liked it. I think it's definitely in my top 10 of the year, but still wasn't quite fine five stars, but you'll hear more about it in my wrap up. And in the shallows, really unput downable, but I definitely still thought there were things that could have been improved about it as well. Uh, that will also be in my wrap up very soon. One Dark Window by Rachel Gillig. I got this uh, because I got this from my local indie bookstore because um, I was participating in the discussion that Sarah from the Channel Voyage and Worlds was doing with her book club of Queens, which is in Valkyries, which is on Discord. Um, this was the book for May. And uh, basically what happened was I was not able to get a hold of this at the library because in any format, there were just way too many holds on it already. I would not have been able to get to it in time at all uh, had I not bought it. So I bought it so that I could discuss it at the same time as everybody so that was really awesome. Um, I liked this book a lot but I didn't like love it the way that it seemed like a lot of everyone else in the discussion did um, but overall I think it was worth the read um, but you'll hear about it more in my wrap up as well. And the other book book club book that I have this month, uh, How to Say Anything to Anyone by Sherry H Harley. Uh, this is for my works book club. Um, I uh, Neither library that I am signed up at had this book in any format at all. It wasn't just that the, the holds were too long or anything. It literally was not at any either library. Neither of them had it at all. And I was like, dude, why? And so I wondered if maybe this was a brand new book or something. No, it's not. It's old. It's from 2013. So anyway, so I uh, I got this uh, because basically I thought like, okay, I guess I'll just buy the ebook. But then it turned out that the book book was actually like only two bucks more than the ebook. And I'm like, okay, I might as well get the book. But anyway, Anyway, um, so I read this already as well, and uh, this will also show up in my wrap up as well. The rest of these books in this haul are books that I have not yet read that I'm really, really excited about. Uh, so they are from mostly different indie bookstores and also Powell's and also the library's little bookstore thing as well. So uh, the first two books I have here are Parallel Worlds bookstores. So I got Justice of Kings. I have been meaning to read this forever. And uh, this book was, this is this was like a $10 used copy, which was, which I thought was a really good deal on a book that's not that old either. It's only a couple years old. So I'm really excited to read this. And The Bruising of Kilwa, uh, which was also just a $9 used book, um, which I thought was a pretty good deal on a really new book as well. The next four books here I got with some store credit at Powell's. Uh, so first we have The Dragon Unleashed by Grace Draven, The Ranger of Marzana by John Scrovon, One for My Enemy by Olivia Blake. And I have this on ebook already, but this cover is amazing. Uh, the Warden by Daniel M. Ford. And then uh, from the library's little dollar bookstore thing, I got uh, Jeweled Fire by Sharon Shin. Finally, from my local indie bookstore, I got The Conductors and The Undertakers by Nicole Glover. So anyway, those are the books that I acquired in the month of May. Uh, please let me know if you've read any of these, have any thoughts on them, um, et cetera, et cetera. Um, have any thoughts on which ones I should read first of the ones that I have not read yet. Um, and I will see you very soon with a new video. Bye.